we're six feet apart. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Um, I'm Connie Baker, Executive Director of Allegheny Highlands Arts and Crafts Center. And this is Nancy Newhart. I'm the Curator of Exhibits and Education Director here at the Arts and Crafts Center in Clifton Forge. So we're closed. Everybody knows. Um, unfortunately, COVID-19 has made us a non-essential um, business. Of course, we don't think we're non-essential. That's why we want to let you see what we have going on in the gallery. So we have an exhibit of Jane Winder's Frank's work in the gallery. And this piece, once again, we're at the gallery, Layered Life by Jane Winder's Frank. This piece is a collage. That means she's glued together lots of different pieces of paper, drawn on it, marked on it, cut and pasted a lot. And it's called The Poet's Corner in Westminster Abbey. It has a little bit of everything in it from paint to handmade papers to papers that she's bought in stores. And it's got a lot of different patterns and a lot of different um, colors mixed in too. Jane loves her patterns and her colors and her layers. She's been a working artist pretty much all her life. She likes to work with lots of very intense, brilliant colors, uh, lots of line, lots of mixed materials. She uses canvas and uh, acrylic paint and papers, both papers that she's made and papers that she's uh, bought from paper stores and also does a lot of drawing as well on her work. And in this one, which is called Enshrine, you can see all those different layers. It's a very intense sort of blue and orange complementary colors from your color wheel. Um, but there's probably 15 or 20 layers in here. She's used a stamp for a face so there's a central focus and then there's a sort of shrine built around her and as the colors get deeper and go further back the lightness of her face comes forward and then you have all these wonderful textures of dots and lines and shapes and colors and outlines and shadows that make up this sort of mysterious image in the picture and that's very typical of Jane's work she likes to work in layers she may start with just one part of an image or even as a demonstration piece she'll start with a couple of techniques and it looks like it's going to be nothing <laughs> and then she works on it for a little bit and things begin to emerge and I think that's how it works inside her brain too is that as things begin to emerge they just come forth hence the name layered life hence the yeah, way layer, the title meant little, little, little layered life <laughs> I hope you're going to edit that one sometimes however Jane is very direct and straightforward and in this piece, which just makes me laugh every time I see it, it's called a blue hair day. And we've all had those days, most of us call them bad hair days, Jane's altered a bit, but she starts with a basic tree shape, and then this figure appears, and the hair sort of begins to resemble the shapes that would be at the top of the trees, like yeah. leaves and so forth. But it's those same colors that she used in Shrine, they're just softened and yeah. made more distant so that she's... I don't know whether she's standing in front of a river or in front of a field or what, but she's just there with her blue hair day. And then this piece, which is called Sorrowing Angels, she's taken, again, some of those standard shapes of hers. She loves angels and has pictures of them from all of her travels, and she incorporates some of those images into her work. She's drawn the angels in, and then some of them are painted on canvas, which has been cut and torn in different shapes and added to the canvas or added to a wood panel. Um, then she's drawn in little shapes that are made by the other shapes of the things on the paper. You see little window-like forms over here. Um, and all these things sort of build toward the focus of facing on the angel's faces. One of the things that I really like about Jane's work is that it doesn't just come out of her head, it comes out of her experiences. And she spent a year in France at an academy um, when she was in college. must have been a wonderful year because you see, you see it crop up in her life over, over time, or in her work over time. But you also see her trips crop up over time. And she was in Amsterdam at one point and they were on, a, a, I think, a canal boat traveling and she just got a real quick snapshot of this old woman sitting underneath the bridge and you can see just barely yeah. off here in the corner there's a bridge there's a woman and then there's a bridge and you're sort of going through this canal with all the architectural structures and then this touch of humanity. And it's just called Canal Boats Amsterdam, which is very simple. But some of her other titles like 
and then the trees began to dance, or Rodin's wife sort of leads you to wonder what's going on in them, and they're really great fun. There's another piece called the Cow Traffic Jam that when you look at it, just looks like a blue sky and these tan shape and black shapes on the bottom. But when you get up close, it's actually a close-up of the backside of cows all <laughs> crowding into one space. And so just her work can make you think and it can make you laugh and it can just give you this great sense of peace. She has great titles. She has wonderful titles. She also spent part of her life as a librarian. She reads voraciously everything from history to poetry to fiction and so, and of course art books. But so there's a lot there to mine.